I, I'm Osvaldo Tardira, I'm the president of the IRS, and uh, we've been doing this since 1943. And uh, we never had an accident since 1943, and we intended to keep it like that. Uh, we bought this land in 1955, and uh, we, uh, this is what we do. And uh, I want to thanks to everybody, everyone for coming, and uh, especially uh, Larry Hoffin, which is an outreach coordinator, uh, Dave Frisali, uh, the pyrotechnic operator, Frank Nuccio is also a coordinator and vice president. And uh, just really quick, I want to see, I want to just tell you what, what is, it that, what is it that we do and why we're here. And uh, we build rocket, but also really good at predicting the future. <coughs> and so what, what, pre what predicting the future is going to happen is that uh, um, some of these kids are going to be a space traveler, <laughs> okay? And you're going to go to other planets and who knows where. And uh, they're going to be riding spaceships built by some of these people right here. They are ready to go to the, uh, they encode it, but they're going to go to the uh, 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 aerospace company and start building rockets for some of you guys being, you know, doing some space travel. And uh, we, the older people, are going to be watching on TV, probably. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you everyone for coming. <laughs> <laughs>
oriented and um, this is really an avenue for them to really move up, you know, get their job in the future, get a career and move forward. There's a lot of energy in these rockets, so they can be very dangerous. But if you do things properly and you do things safely, you can learn a lot and have a lot of fun doing it. So whenever we run operations out here, we'll have one person who is responsible to make sure that everything goes just exactly the way we planned it so that nobody has any kind of problem and nobody gets hurt at all. The Reaction Research Society has been launching rockets out here since 1955 and they've been in existence since 1943 and they've never had a single person hurt with any of the thousands of rockets that we've launched. So we want to keep that up. So this is, this is a great fun outing as long as nobody gets hurt doing anything. Right. So if you have an explosion, it comes across, it basically it comes across. And the lower you are to the ground, it goes over you. So it saves you. So it goes over the, the actual blockhouse. That's the reason you try to keep it as low as possible, so it goes over the actual explosion. It creates like a wave, and it goes over the building. So we're going to go in this silver building. Okay, what's the two rules? We don't sit on the tables. What's the second one? Don't touch the rockets in the front of you. Ray, Bradley, Rojas. Here. Andrew? Stephanie Sanchez. Here. Mario Sanchez. 800 milliseconds, it's gone. Right. It's already 400 feet yeah. yeah. it's, it's going to Mach 1. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Right. So when I do the, the launches from in here, looking yep. out the window, I, I it's just the button, and I see a smoke right in front of your face. I, I, it's a big cloud of smoke, and then you know, usually there's 25 people in there, and then we all tumble backwards out the door just to get a, see if we get a glimpse. It's a lot easier to watch the whole launch okay. from the bunker, totally but do both. I mean, come here because we're going to do 10 of them okay. or whatever. You know, come here for one or two of them. Two of them get in there. Feel that, yeah, feel and that then, energy of that. Okay, everybody, can you guys move up here because they'll uh, run up. Yeah, boy. Okay, uh, first of all, how many people have been out here before? I know you guys have. All right, so I got a, I got a group from the University of uh, Los Angeles. California. Los Angeles. You know, I have, I have a hard time with that because I had two daughters that went to USC. So. Fight on, fight on. Okay, okay. <laughs> However, I'm going to be working with the UCLA guys, so I'll get over it. Um, you know it's a good focus Yeah. All right, so what I want to tell you guys today, I'm, uh, first of all, I'm the pyrotechnic operator for today, the ones that I haven't spoken to, which means that I'm the guy that makes sure that nobody gets hurt today. And that's not only with rockets, but because of the heat today, you know, I want to make sure that everybody has uh, sunblock and uh, you're drinking water um, and you're staying in the shade as much as possible, okay? Um, it's real easy to get dehydrated out here. Also, because it's summertime, I have to tell you that I killed rattlesnake about that long, not very long ago. Uh, so don't wander any place where you can't see where your hands and your feet are going.
Good. One more time. So? Oh, 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 o